Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today we will be discussing the British Ministry of Defense Telephone PTC-405. Uh, the PTC-405 uh, was uh, developed in the 1970s as part of a, an effort to modernize and ruggedize the uh, phone system, the British field phones, and replace the uh, the letter series phones, the J, the F, the D, and they came up with this. And this is basically, uh, basically almost a commercial version uh, that's less rugged and could be used by personnel who are not really, you know, in the mud and grud in the field. And it could also be used by their signal personnel who are installing and checking phone lines. And they came up with this. It's an all-plastic case with a carrying handle. Uh, it actually uses three standard D-cell batteries. This is the battery compartment right there that unscrews. You can operate it in uh, either a common battery or local battery mode. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. You can see what it looks like on the inside. And this is it. It's got these straps that sort of hold it closed, so tilt it. Um, doesn't have instructions to operate like most of the other British phones do in the lid, but it does have a schematic diagram and it's got a modification record. Um, here's the handset right here. Interesting handset. doesn't have a push to talk here. The push to talk is that little button right there. It has a plug right here. If you wanted to plug in and use a, uh, a headset, a headset will plug in there. Um, these points right here were for maintenance, telephone maintenance guys to connect the tone. If they want to send a tone on the line, they'd inject it right there. Of course, the binding post right here. This cutout right here was for a dial unit that could be fit inside there. If you're connected to a common battery automatic switchboard, wanted to make some dial phone calls, that you had a dial unit that plugged in there and plugged into this headset thing, you could make dial phone calls. It's actually quite simple operation right here. It's got a selector switch. You're either on common battery, local battery, or that actually sends a ring signal out. Um, this is one of the first phones where they were really looking at getting away from the hand crank magnetos to send rig signals. This is one of the first uh, goes at fully electronic signaling. So this, you know, sends a ring signal without having to do a crank on it. Binding post right here. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll hook this up to a T312 and make some phone calls. Okay, I got my PTC405 hooked up to a 312. We'll make some phone calls here. Um, first call I'll make is from the 405 to the 312. Okay, we'll hit it ring. Good strong ring signal. We'll go ahead and take it off hook. PTT button right there, remember. We'll make, we'll make a, a audio check or a line check. Test one, two, three. 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 Loud and clear. Now what's interesting about this is if the phone's not hung up, when I call from the 312 to this phone, it won't ring. I'll just go ahead and we'll demonstrate that right there. There we go. We're ringing now. So we got to have it have it hung up. So we'll hang it up. We'll go ahead and call it. And here it rings, not very loud, but uh, good enough that if you're closer, you could hear it ring. These uh, had a range of uh, 10 to 15 miles, like all the other analog phones. Uh, depends on the type of wire and cable you have. Also, uh, the ring itself, you know, is going to be degraded if you run long distances on wire and cable. Um, this phone is compatible with the other two wire analog phones I've done videos on. And this is the British Ministry of Defense PTC 405 field telephone. Thanks for watching.